The function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. That, my fellow classmates, is a quote by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Hi, my name is Joey Bell, and for this presentation I read School is Bad for Children by John Holt. Throughout the presentation, I'm going to tell you guys the important points of the author, his purpose, our similarities in the text, interesting language used in the text, the author's view, and my opinion on the text. Let's start. The main idea of the article is that children enter school with more willingness to learn and desire to figure things out for themselves. In the text, it tells us that a recent study was shown that children realize at school to be wrong or unsure is not acceptable. After telling us the main idea, the author goes into telling us strategies to fix the school problems. The first strategy would be removing children from schools and bringing them out to the real world. The second, taking them to meet adults besides their parents and teachers. And lastly, to let children work together and let children grade themselves. The author's purpose is to inform his audience about the struggles of how children feel in school and how changing the curriculum could help the way students feel. Um, I can personally relate to the reading because I experienced some of the emotions that the author talks about. For instance, when a student kind of says I'm wrong or disagrees with my opinion, I'll shut down and quit expressing my opinion for a good bit of time. Um, interesting language used. I specifically did not find any interesting language that the author used throughout the text. He tried to stay more serious and he used real life examples. The worldview in the text, the author says over and over again that school is boring and that school changed the work ethics to students. It lowers it tremendously. Changes, I would definitely cut out a lot of the repetitiveness that the author says throughout the text. In conclusion, this paper ends by the author telling us that students should be able to pick up the correct to pick the curriculum and that teachers should stop being so judgmental. Important points are that children should be able to pick the curriculum and that judging students and children are bad and can, call, and can cause them to have bad self-esteem and could eventually push them to the streets. Thank you.